Hi all, welcome to Java Talent. So in this tutorial video, I am going to cover Spring Boot JWT authentication with MySQL database. So if you uh, know about the Spring Security 5.70, so the Spring team will be deprecated the Web Security Configure Adapter. So they encourage us to like uh, move towards the component based security configurations from the Spring Boot 3.0. So it has the lots of feature changes. So we are going to use the Spring Boot 3.0 uh, for our uh, today's video tutorial. And then I'm just going to use the MySQL database for storing purpose of the username and password. So let's start the direct project creations. So uh, you can just simply create one of the, uh, uh, let me create one simple project so that you can have an idea like how we are just going and creating the project uh, for the application so I'm just going to use uh, Spring Boot JWT 1 uh, as an example uh, because uh, I have already a Spring Boot JWT example in my ID uh, so if you remember like <laughs> simple web application so for this I am just going to use Spring Web as the dependency so let it be open and I will cover that from next thing so let it be open so my application is ready uh, if you see there is nothing uh, I have just created one simple application uh, using the spring web component dependency and uh, if you see like uh, let me create the one controller class for hitting the annotation endpoint like so I'm just going to create the package like com dot java talent dot controller so this is simply I'm just creating one of the controller class to hit the endpoint test controller and then I will introduce the JWT implementations actually uh, from the different project so here I have to annotate like add the rest test controller so our classes will be demonstrating like it is the rest controller public string I am just going to use simple message say hello and it will return the message that's it return welcome to welcome to java talent that's it so here i have to annotate this method because i'm just going to use the get mapping so we have to annotate this at the get mapping and i'm here i'm going to use that slash hello this is the endpoint that's it nothing else so <laughs> this is a simple applications if i am running this applications uh you can just like run as java application or spring boot application anyway is fine so i'm just going to demonstrate it is in so if you see for example i am getting some exceptions here because the my run uh runtime uh jar is different than what i'm using so i'm using here in a library if you see the 16 version but my uh intelligence is having the configuration so i'm just going to get it like uh, i need to configure that so let me do that first so you can do like if you are getting same error because I have to means my compile uh, compiler is JDK 17 and I'm trying to use the 16 that's why I'm getting this error so I'm just going to use the JDK 16 to compile my uh, to compile my application so it will compile the application and it will run if you see here so it is saying that the 8080 port is running uh, because I might be having Oracle system in my uh, yeah, Oracle install in my system so that is the things it is saying so like if you are getting the same error you can just mention spring dot server dot port any other port like 8082 then it will run to that port basically nothing else simply you can just change the port to run your application that's it so now if you see uh, my application is up and running to 8082 port so let me uh, hit that localhost 8082 and slash hello so if you see here like uh, uh, we are getting the welcome to java talent this is what i was just uh, demonstrating for the simple application rest application so here we are able to uh, make a one get endpoint now if you see the my actual code which uh, i'm just going to introduce like how we can implement the jwt token in my application using mysql database to store the username and password so for that i have already having the applications i can go through that application if you see here so let me go through the architecture first so if you see uh, there is a package which i have already created 
okay so uh, uh, you need what you have to uh, get your uh, uh, software like uh, i'm using the maven as the dependency i uh, means build dependency and then you can use java 17 i'm using for now so if you see in my pom.xml you're most probably able to see the java version so i'm using the jdk 17 uh, let me one second let me do the update it might be working seeing here 16 so so basically uh, i'm using the java 17th uh, for my developing my own applications uh, this is the jari uh, 16 but yes i have already selected from the run window so that is the 17 and uh, next thing i think you have to uh, means what are the dependency you need to uh, uh, use uh, for this applications i will list it out here let me list that so first i am going to use the as <coughs> spring web okay and uh, next one i am just going to use this spring security and the third one i am going to use is a uh, mysql driver so these are the dependency you have to use for your application spring boot not a spring boot it is spring data jpa and then Lombok API. So Lombok API is the very simple tool for getter and setter and all things. <coughs> so you can use it or okay. So let's see. So uh, for that, additionally, we have to use the JWT uh, uh, dependency in my application. So I will let you know what are the dependency I have added. So I have added the Jeta JPA. That's why it is coming here as the dependency security. I have added that is why it is coming here and Spring Web I have added. So that is why it is coming up. So basically for my things what i am just going to do is like to grab that as our actual dependency for jwt implementations so these four dependency i am adding here okay so make sure that dependency you are also adding into your applications and the same you can use it. one second let me make it simpler formatted way okay so you need to as the uh, j <laughs> JJWT API, JJWT IMPL, JJWT Jackson. These are the three JWT related dependency you have to add it. And I have already attached the dependency my uh, at my creation of the project for my SQL. That's why it is coming and Lombok API. So that is why. And you know that like this starter dot test is already coming along with the uh, Spring Web. Okay. So let's see. <coughs> These are the dependency I am I have added here in my applications. So that you can add also. So basically you need to add this one this all four and uh, extra things these are the extra things you have to add into your dependency so your applications dot uh, dot xml file looks like this okay next thing is like <coughs> let me go through uh, creation of the user controller so i'm just going to the reverse from the controller side so i have created the one of the controller so let uh, uh, you can just not bother about this controller hello controller because I have created it for the sample testing purpose if you see here this are the hello controller for the demonstration of the message like we are using the <coughs> spring restful application so this is the <coughs> sorry so this is the user controller I am just going to use so if you see here like uh, rest controller I have connotated this class with the rest controller to make sure this uh, application is rest uh, uh, rest controller API <coughs> and then request mapping i have given the request mapping as less auth and then actually these are the service and info service interface i have just created and then that's why are i am doing the auto wiring from the back end side so and this is the 20 custom manager so you can just uh, auto wire this here this class is here and i'm just coming to the end point so this is the one of the end point i have created for welcome this is the simple message like this is not the secured endpoint okay so if you are using this endpoint this get endpoint you do not need to provide any token or any jwt token okay so that's why i have created one of the <coughs> api call as simple so that you can understand yes for this one we do not require the jwt token likewise in our regular daily to daily applications also there is the some of the endpoint which do not require the jwt authentication but yes for some of the some of the endpoint uh, means for any get or post mapping most probably it will be post mapping and then get mapping also like if there is the admin security they wanted to include you can add the 
JWT authentication. Okay. So if you see here, like uh, this is the post mapping I have created uh, for adding the new user. So I'm just uh, inserting the new user to the database. That's why I have created this class add new user uh, into my <coughs> into my application. So this will add the new user and if you see here the request body so this request body I am having this user interface and if you see this class so what is this entity class this is the basically entity class this will go end to and create the table uh, as user info if you see I have taken as entity and you know that like these are all the annotations we have to most probably used for getter and setter for data and then these all are coming from the Lombok API so you can just go through the one of the video like Lombok what is Lombok and how we we can use into our application so this uh, at the right id is the uh, jp annotations like uh, which we have demonstrating this id field will be our primary key value and then generated value is like uh, what are the generation type strategy just we are going to follow to generate the data, database table and details so if you see here this will be the, our table uh, it will create the user input table along with this id column name column and then email password and roles so based on the roles we are just going to use our uh application so how we are just going to managing that okay so if you see here so this in this url there is nothing i have introduced like authorization so it will directly uh, execute but to see the user profile okay so to see the user profile like slash user user profile i have given the role as role user so if you see that pre-authorizations, uh, it is the method, it is the annotations like annotation for specifying the method class access control expressions which will be evaluated based on the uh, whether the method invocation is allowed or not. Okay, <coughs> so if you see here, I have given the has authority, what authority I have given is as role user. So they can uh, see the user profile, but admin has the role admin uh, who can see the admin profile. Okay, so just I am just printing this simple message, nothing else I am doing, but yes, this role user and uh, role admin, this uh, access I am just going to put into the database side and if you see here I have given the post mapping for the generation of the token so this generate token will uh, generate the token uh, let me put it like below so that uh, you have the code so that you can just see all the code okay now you are able to see the code I think so there is nothing problem you can just go through my code also I can post it into the <laughs> chat if you want i can share the link as well from the my git repo okay so general uh, generate token this is the end point i'm just going to use here authentication token get method so this is the authentication request what is the request and request and response i will introduce like uh, i have created this request and response uh, entity one second let me go through that so if you see the entity here, uh, authentication uh, auth request is one of the entity, and uh, for this authentication, I'm then I'm just going to provide the username and password to generate the token. And if you see my user info, so uh, same I have already demonstrated it. So this will be my table in which I'm just going to put my ID, name, email, and password and roles. And this is a user info details. If you see your name, password, and then authority means what is the granted authority I'm just going to provide for that one uh, that you can see here. Simple, uh, the three fields I have taken and I'm given the uh, authority means if you see the granted authority I have given as the list because I just wanted to give one of the user as the multiple roles. Like he can be admin or he can be user, okay. So for that I have given as the list and if you see this is the simple, uh, Mm, what you can say so simple method like i have taken as the uh, okay so here if you see that i have already overridden all the methods so nothing else okay so let me go to the repo and one second let me open the service configuration i will go at the end and uh, nothing else okay so repository i have given this repository uh, you know that like uh, user info repository i have created by extending the jpa repository you can visit and uh, go through that like what is the jpa repository and what what class i just wanted to insert as my table so this is info user, user info and what is the primary key it is integer type and optional interface you can just go through that optional interface multiple times so it is i'm just going to create as a uh, user info find by name so I'm just going to search the user as the by, by, uh, by their name. So this is that, that repository. That's why this class will be becoming as the repo class. And uh, if you see, okay. So now uh, if you see the service, so user info service. So that has the, uh, first let me go through the user info service. 
so user info service i have uh, auto wired the repository and i have encoded that password because i just do not want to insert my password as the raw value i just wanted to insert that as the encoded value into the database that's why i have taken as the password encoder and uh, this is the best uh, best way like if you see this is from the spring security itself they have provided one of the best class interfaces as password encoder that i am using here for encoding of my password so I have done that encoder here, imported like that. So if you see that I am just encode load by load user by username uh, by using that username. So if you see that find by name, username and here I am just converting user detail to the user details. So if you see that user details, I'm just getting an user not found. If there is no any user found, I can just throwing that for that particular name, the user is not found. And this is the add user. So if I'm just going to add user using this info, uh, user info object. So if you same things, I, I will just going to provide as the post uh, post list request. So <coughs> one second. Uh, okay. And user info dot set password. I'm just setting that password by encoding that from the user info. So I'm just getting that from the user info and setting to by uh, setting to that user info by setting that as password from the encoding value. Here I'm just going to do the encoder encoder dot encode that password and just setting that password. And then I'm just using the repository dot save method to save the password to the database and just returning the message as yes user has been added successfully. Now if you see the other service like uh, JWT service basically, so JWT service has that secret. So I have just created one of the secret value as this one and this is the sum of the random keys as what I am just going to take it as and generate method. So this generate method I am just providing to that as username by providing the username and here I am just going to uh, create the token based on that claims object like I have created one of the map as claims and then I am just going to create that token. Okay. So here if you see that string create token by providing that claims and username it will be go and uh, take the helper of the builder class builder uh, you can just go through the builder design pattern and it will jwt dot builder dot set claims as claims set subject as username I'm just getting that as the username you can just provide the some of the more details as well by using the exploring this builder API and I'm just setting this expression that as system dot time util as here and I'm just signing this one is by that uh signature algorithm so this hs256 signature algorithm i'm just going to use here and then i'm just uh, converting it to the base 64 value uh, for this secret and uh, uh, okay so if you see here that uh, uh, extracted username expression date and then all the things here extract claim and this one i'm just going to do it here so I'm just going little bit slowly so you can just see the code very much well manner and then you can just get it from here as well from the video also and then if you want I can share the link for the repo or I can share the uh, project as well okay. So let's see and then the next thing is like I'm just going through this configurations part. So now the last thing is configurations if you see here uh, JWT authentication filter I have applied but before of that let me go through the security config class. So if you see this is the security config class and uh, first of all let me go through this filter one okay. So if you see here the filter one I am just going to provide this my JWT service and uh, my user detail service okay. So <coughs> once per request filter I am just extending this one uh, you know that like this is the uh, one of the request I have to uh, validate so if you see this filter based class that aims to guarantee that the single executions per request will be happening so for uh, making our single request uh, um, executions uh, per request based on the JWT authentications that's why I am extending this class so okay so you can just go through this abstract class what it is and how it is going to be useful in our application and now I'm just uh, let me put it like below so <coughs> here I'm auto wiring the user interface as sorry JWT service and user info service and I am overriding this do filter internal method by providing the request response HTTP receiver and HTTP servlet response here and filter change okay so it will throw the servlet exceptions you know that like from the Java base only and then I have exceptions I am here taking getting that authentication header so request dot get header as authorizations and token I am not going to use means uh, this uh, this much details but yes uh, <coughs> here if you see that start with I am just going to use the bearer token so it will start with the bearer that's why I have given as bearer token 
and I'm just going to uh, do the substring as seven and then username as extract that username from the token. And I'm just checking whether the username not equal to null and uh, if I'm checking that authentication value returning as null then I'm just going to take it as user details and load by username and just finding from the database if you see here from the service and I'm just validating that token if validating token by passing the token and user details and here I'm using the user password authentication token class and here if you see okay so now username password authentication token by using that user details null and then a second parameter it is one second let me see yep so first parameter is principal object credentials and then now uh, one second yep principal object credential and then authorities this is the parameters that what i am passing here and uh, setting the security context dot this one and then doing the filter dot do filter so this is the filtrations I have done. Most probably you understand this class. Next coming to this final one, JWT oh, filter I have already come here. So <coughs> if you see this config, uh, security config class, so I have given it as configuration class, enabling the web security, enabling the method security. So <coughs> these are the annotations I have used here. And uh, I'm just uh, auto wiring this uh, JWT auth filter and then you are creating this user creations here I'm just going to do as the creation of the bin for my particular user details service and then if you see that configuring the HTTP security so I'm just creating the bin of this security filter chain and uh, it, it, it will throw the exceptions here some of the method is uh, means that is asking it has been deprecated from version 6.1 so it is asking for me to suppress warning so you can do it like or you can explore from the new versions what it should be <laughs> so i'm doing this authorized uh, authorizations like auth slash welcome i'm just uh, ignoring this welcome part so if you see here uh, uh, authorized matches this one this one and add new user and then generate token these are the three uh, uh, three end point i just wanted to not <coughs> authorize any authentication method if you see here slash auth welcome slash auth add new user and slash auth generate token so token generation it will be permitting for all and if you see here request matchers i'm just giving that as a slash auth user because that is the uh, con from the controller you can understand that is what i'm just going to use for the uh, authorization purpose so let me see so see slash user and slash admin so these are the two things just wanted to add the authorizations okay so yeah so if you see here request matches and uh, this pattern it will follow an authenticated and this pattern it will follow an authenticated and then session creation policy i'm just creating creating a stateless policy and uh, this method will provide the authentication provider and doing the filter by using pattern, uh, this authentication filter class and doing the build so here if you see that i'm creating the bin of the password encoding class password encoder what we have used for the big crypt the password uh, that password which we are going to store into the database and this bin i'm creating for the authentication provider class and then authentication manager class these are the bins we have, which we have to create for the configuration one so let's see uh, these are all the things and let me open all the let me close all tab okay let me see a bit no problem I will open this controller only and uh, I will test it user controller so that you can understand so uh, before running to these applications let me check which I if I am having some of the data is in my database so uh, before of that let me introduce that uh, application that properties file for my SQL database <laughs> So this is the server.port I have added because 8080 is default port which has been used by my another application. So you can use any one of the port or might be you can ignore this part. This allows circular references I am just getting as true to make my application up and running and then driver class name com.mysqlcj.jdbc.driver you know that for mysql which we have to use here and database source url is this one this is the url uh, because uh, this is my schema name java talent which I have created into my database and this is my root as the username and root, he, uh, root is, is the password as well okay and if you see here generate dll ddl true i'm just using this generate ddl it will create my uh, table and all the details i do not need to manually create the table and all the details from the database so here i'm using the ddl auto you know that there is the multiple there is the 
how many fields let's see create it will create this schema only create and drop it will create and then uh, destroy the schema at the end of the session so when you will close the application it will automatically drop your uh, schema none not, nothing it will do it will be disable the ddl handling it will not create anything update schema if it is uh, there is any changes it will update the schema and validate so i'm just going to use the update value and so sql as a true because i just wanted to print the sql query whatever the sql query it is running means i want a ddl and then it will uh, print it to my console this is the delete which we have uh, I have used you can just explore what is the delete you need to use and this is the naming physical strategy so this this you can ignore not an issue I just wanted to take that like a strategy panel uh, pattern so that's why I have used it here so uh, you can ignore it not an issue let's me run this application so that I can just show you uh, one second sorry let me stop first let me check my database okay because I have some of the data so here I have the data so let me drop this table itself now i don't have any table okay i do not have any table with this user info so let me close it so let me refresh so if you see that java talent schema has employee hibernate sequence and invoice table but there is nothing any uh, user info whatever we have entity class <laughs> one second but the table is not there what we want okay user input table is not there okay so let me run this applications i just wanted to run this application as spring boot so spring boot app uh, if you run this application see the console what it is doing here okay see uh, because i have given that uh, uh, so true uh, this one so SQL is true that's why this is printing into our console as the output of the query what it is running so drop table if exist user info so first it is checking whether the table is there or not if it is be create, uh, dropping that table and then it is creating the table if you see here <coughs> okay so okay now see the database so if you see the database there is uh, you need to refresh it here this table is created if you select it uh, query by select a star from that one so you will get that like id email name password and roles it has been created with dummy data means there is no any data but the column has been already created because we are using that in the things okay so now i have to see one by one controller uh, endpoint what i have given okay so first endpoint i have given as welcome and if you see the request mapping i have given as slash auth and then slash welcome so you can just uh, hit it slash auth and slash welcome so if you if you do that slash auth slash welcome welcome this endpoint is not secure because this endpoint we have done as not secure and let me open from the postman you can just go through the postman let me see because i have already created the collection here so if you see here 8082 slash auth slash welcome if you hit this endpoint see the message in the response welcome this endpoint is not secure because you know that like they get uh, HTTP request we can do it from the browser also uh, but for post and all other requests uh, we have to use the any other tools like which we are using as postman or any other okay so now if you see the second endpoint what is the second endpoint second endpoint is post mapping means post request we have to send and we have to send as add new user by using this user info details so these are the details we have to pass as the body and uh, this will be becoming the post endpoint so let me go and do that and you, if you remember this is also not in the uh, <coughs> authentications this will be non-authentications uh, url so let me hit it uh, if you go here add new user i have created the collection so i am giving as here if you see that slash auth slash add new user but it will not require the authentication any token but it will be asking for me to pass the uh, model like whatever the model i am just going to use so if you see here i am getting this user info and user info is having that name email and password and roles because you know that id will be the i am uh, for id i am just using the any strategies pattern here and uh, this four value i have to send it from the postman so if you see here name i am giving as java talent and password one two three simple one of the password i'm using email java talent at gmail.com and then role i am using as 
rule underscore admin so if you hit this endpoint uh, you can see user added successfully this is the response what we are giving from the controller so see so this is the service dot add user and uh, user admin added this is the from the message which we, are, we are giving at okay so let me see the database so if you select this query select a star from java talent info means java talent dot user info so you can see here email name password is in bcrypt manner what we have done from the code and role as role admin let me send one of the another user to add it as role user so simple okay and password i am taking as one two three only and uh, email is as akr.gmail.com this will be become the role user you can make any other user uh, any other role so user added successfully see the database now you can see that second row as well so see akr.gmail.com ak and this report uh, password encrypt manner and then role users so let me go through this one so this is the second endpoint now come to the second third endpoint <coughs> what we have given as user user profile and this is the role user we need to provide the token it is the pre-authorized it is asking for me to provide the token before going to this get mapping for role user profile and then admin profile what i have to do i have to do to generate the token so i have to send this post call for this generate token api so let me go to token api so if you see here for uh, i have given two this is the same uh, collection but yes i have given as user and admin to make sure i am using the perfect same user and password what i have created so if you see remember i have created ak123 so let me see that uh, ak123 and uh, you need to select as this url you need to go here body and you need to select json as type and username as ak password as one two three if you send here it will give you the raw json value and this sorry raw token and this raw token you have to copy and uh, this token will apply for checking checking this user profile or admin profile but if you see this user is ak user is having role user profile so let me go and hit the uh, role profile for user profile one okay so if you see here uh, let me one second let me rename it user profile and this one is admin profile so if you see user profile you need to set it as the get request at zero at two at and user and user profile here i have to paste that token you need to select from here as bearer token and you need to provide that copy paste same token you have to paste here and if you see yes i am getting the response welcome to user profile this is what i just wanted to explain here see and uh, welcome to user profile fine now if you see here admin profile okay because i have not generated the token i just wanted to hit this profile let's see we must get the forbidden see forbidden the request was legal request but the server is refusing it because this is the unauthorized response because i have not created that as for the admin print profile i have not generated any token but i just wanted to use it yes so the same token because for this username and password i have generated this token but i have to generate it for admin one so let me send it uh, what is the admin name admin name i have java talent and uh, password same one two three we have taken so if you see username java one java talent password one two three you need to select to generate token this token we can use for waving the admin profile and this token from the bearer token here select here paste it send it see you can able to see the admin profile welcome to admin profile so now we are able to make that as our all endpoint see user user profile admin admin profile this is token generation so this token generation we are using for this particular two endpoint to get this uh, user profile to get this admin profile same way if you are having any project requirement to, for the post mapping or whatever the <coughs> request you can put it the authorizations based on the role this is based on the role which we are implementing here in this tutorial so yeah this is all uh, just wanted to show you today and uh, yep pretty much sure and yep please do subscribe my channel uh, for the latest video